Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix the problem with the Contract Killer Zombies game on Android when you get the uh, download failed wrong size message. Uh, the problem is that the game needs a uh, an older version of Android like Android 5 Lollipop or lower like 4 KitKat to work. So if you're running it on Android 8 or Android 9 uh, Oreo or, or uh, Pi, it's not going to work unless you apply this method, which I'm about to explain to you. So you'll need this uh, virtual application called VMOS. And uh, I'll have the link in the description. So you go ahead and install uh, this uh, VMOS APK. Now I've already got it installed. Uh, so I'm not going to do it. So you go ahead and install it. And then when you try to launch it, it's going to ask you to install this unlocker. So you just go exit the, the uh, VMOS and then install this unlocker APK. And then you can go into VMOS. Now, when you go into VMOS, it's going to look something like this. It should say version 1.0.63 up top on the left. And it's going to take a minute to initialize. So you're basically running in a virtual environment, which uh, makes it think that you have Android 5. Because if you go to settings here, and you go to system settings and about phone, it says that your Android is 5.1.1. So here you can also get root, which we'll need later on in this process. So the first thing you're going to want to do in VMOS here is to install from the Play Store uh, this app right here, Titanium Backup. So install this app, but don't go into it yet because it needs root. And then the other thing is you're going to want to you're going to want to install some kind of a uh, like a file manager, this CX file explorer. So we can browse the files easily. Let's see what else. And then uh, that's it for now. So then once you've installed those two, the titanium backup and the CX file explorer. And just a quick tip about installing apps from the Google Play Store in the VMOS virtual machine. If you go to the Play Store and you try to install like Titanium Backup or that CX File Explorer and it hangs and it doesn't seem to be doing anything, it doesn't download or install, what you can do is if restarting your entire phone and VMOS doesn't help, then the easiest thing to do would be to use this feature called File Transporter you could use this file transportation feature in VMOS, but first you'll need to have installed the Titanium Backup or that uh, CS File Explorer on your main phone. And then when you go to import, you'll get a list of all the apps that are installed on your phone. So you just select the app from there, from your main phone, and then just, uh, for example, like this and click import. And that'll install it into the VMOS virtual application. Then we go and enable root from here, the settings, and then you click on root. I already have it enabled. So you just flip it on and follow the on-screen prompt. And it's going to prompt you to restart VMOS. So now once you've restarted VMOS, you're ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do here is you need to get the files over to VMOS and the easiest way I found is to go into CX File Explorer, then go into network and uh, click the plus and add a Google Drive. So log into your account, your Google account. And then what you do is from your phone or your computer where you're watching this video, you download the files, the data files and the APK for the game and my titanium backup and you place them somewhere uh, 
uh, like you know, so that you can upload them to your Google Drive. So you want to upload those files to your account that you're using for Google Drive. So you go into CX File Explorer, and then log into your uh, go to Network and log into your Google Drive. And here you should have all the needed files. Just select all of them, and you can copy or move them. And go back and go to local, go to main storage, and put them somewhere like in your download folder or maybe your uh, your Android folder, like me. Paste them there. Wait for that to copy. It's going to be transferring like at a really slow rate, so you'll have to wait a few minutes. And then you're going to want to do the same with the Titanium backup files these three files just uh, copy or move them go to local main storage and once you go into titanium backup you'll get a folder it'll create this titanium backup folder so you paste the three files in that titanium backup folder you go into your Android folder if you don't have an OBB folder most likely you won't so you're going to want to create an OBB folder. Then go in there and create this folder with exactly this name, com.glue.android.zomp.sniper. And then take the data file, the 440 megabyte file, and copy it into that folder. And then install the first APK right here. Click on that and install it. Don't open it, just click done. Then you're also going to want to install the second APK and click done. And then you go into, you have these two icons here. Go into Titanium Backup and uh, Granted Root Rights if, when it asks you and search for CK Zombies. You'll get two of them. Click on the one that says 3.1 and click Restore App Plus Data and follow the on-screen prompts to reinstall it and then you can open it now when you get this message all you have to do is go back go back to titanium backup and then just restore it again one more time app plus data and now it should work Now, if your gold is not hacked, like mine, what you can do is go back and uh, into your folders and wherever you've put that um, that glue APK, just install that glue APK, open it. and just click OK, then go back into the game. So as you see, the game works fine. Like I'm on, I'm using this virtual, but I'm really on my Android 8. Let me show you. I'm on Android 8. Anyway, hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.